Okay, so method two, what we're gonna do is we are going to save it directly to a flash drive. So you open up your camera, and again, this will work with the professional series cameras like the uh, TI-480 Pro or any of the 400 series, TI-300. Any that have the laser sharp autofocus, uh, the USB should have, we should have a USB port in the side that you can do that. You can also do it with the TIX 500 series. So, anyways, you put that in the side, then we go through the menu, we say settings, how are we gonna save? Before we were on internal memory, now we're gonna say flash drive, and then we hit done, okay? So let's take an image. I'm gonna use laser sharp autofocus, snap it into focus for myself. That's squeezing that black trigger. And say number two method. And we captured it and we hit save. Image is saving. We can verify that we have this by going into memory, and there it is, okay? So let's pull this out and go to the computer. You then plug your USB cable, or your USB flash drive, I should say, into your PC and pull it up on your file finder, um, file explorer, find it, go into here, it's going to be under the DCIM folder that it's created. And here is the file we want. Now at this point, we can drag this over here to the side, go into measurements, and now pull this back over here, grab this, and we should be able to drop it in. If we can't, other method would be to do... Go into this mode. We know where it is now, so we just do this PC. Our, and dialed into our USB flash drive, and here we go. Okay, I'm learning something new on this video as well. You see this error? What it's saying is we have got to drop the file into under Flute Connect. So Documents, Flute Connect, Brandon, my email. So put it in where it says that you need to put it, and I'll show that here right now. So we've got it here. Now we're going to go into Documents. So I did Documents. Fluke, Fluke Connect, and right here. Okay, so now we can drop it into here and we can say, we can make it a new folder if we want. And we can say USB flash drive method, hit enter, and pull this from our USB into here. It's going to copy and paste. And now we should be able to go back over here to measurements and we might even be able to click this screen and we can see method two has now dropped in here. We did have to put it in the right folder on our computer and I did not realize that before I started the video but you're learning with me. That's all for method two. On to the next.